Hey YouTubers and thanks for coming back to my channel and checking some of this stuff out. Maybe some of you this is the first time that you're actually uh, visiting my channel and just briefly um, we're covering uh, the Majestic documents uh, which there are countless numbers of them and I guess there's just a ton more that aren't downloadable from the uh, MajesticDocuments.com website. <coughs> uh, I want to go ahead and thank uh, Stanton Friedman for putting up with me the last month or so that I've been chatting with him back and forth and talking about the documents and going over some of the stuff that he's written and um, part of uh, what I want to do and I, and I think everybody could pretty much agree is anybody that's serious uh, needs to really look at the evidence and do not believe everything that people are telling you uh, people are just too easy to convince these days and unfortunately we have to dig through all of this stuff to find out sort out the truth to find the fact separate it from the fiction and most the majority of it the most of the information out there is all a fiction or a hoax or whatever you want to call it but it's very time consuming and so of course I support all you out there who are kind of on the same quest um, I've been a document examiner for uh, since 2005 so I don't have nearly as many years as some people do but uh, something that I uh, something that I do and eventually I'll make it my full-time job but it's uh, partly part-time and then I do this sort of thing on my spare time looking at these uh, majestic documents and other paranormal type stuff which is what our channel is all about so anyhow today um, I, I just want to point out that I'm not here to disprove that um, the government is not hiding anything I don't want to say that you know they're I'm not I'm not here to, to argue that um, the government obviously has secrets and depending on what those secrets are we, we can only speculate uh, what the actual secrets that they're holding. Some of them they hold for good reason, don't get me wrong. I, I do believe in security, um, but there's a lot of question uh, with these majestic documents. If these majestic documents are true, uh, it would just be completely just mind-blowing. I mean, it would just be probably the best evidence that we had from, from government verified, you know, documents. But problem is, is that these documents are not uh, they will not be authenticated by the government and they will not say that these documents are real and what you have to be careful of is people will mix fact with fiction and usually that will create a pretty good story and uh, it's pretty difficult to sort out the two but once you start digging in as long as you've got time you can do it so anyhow um, you can you, you just if you don't know what, what the majestic documents are it's very interesting and it just goes all the way through briefing the president on um, crash alien crash retrievals and wreckage and alien bodies and ways to uh, you know they have the uh, the special operations manual which talks about how to properly contain an area and you know take evidence, box it up, and all that, ship it, all that sort of thing. Anyhow, Majestic Documents, or MJ-12, uh, is what we're talking about. Um, so, this document here, it was downloaded from the MajesticDocuments.com website, and you can see it's a kind of a crinkled up paper. Um, and it's just kind of, uh, it's, it's very bold, and it and it's, doesn't look very clean. And you see these top secret I stamps. It was obviously approved, signed approved Harry uh, Truman, which who was the president at the time, July 9th, 1947. Also supposedly uh, written by Harry Truman. This stamp over here to your right is uh, received October 7th, 1992. It's the guy that has, re has received numerous uh, majestic documents from an unknown source uh, and so they just uh, magically appear, appear I don't mean to sound smart when I'm saying that but I'm just saying he, he 
we cannot verify the source of where these documents come from. They are supposedly uh, from someone who is secretly sending these documents to uh, him in the mail. So anyhow, uh, directed to Lieutenant General Twining, and it has several paragraphs here. Uh, it doesn't really mention anything. Um, you know, what I want to look at is I want to see where it says Majestic or see where it says MJ-12, which you'll find uh, quite a few of that. But some of them don't actually say that. And, it, and it, sometimes it gets me to question, you know, why is this even considered a Majestic document? Well, maybe it has something to do with trying to verify a story or, you know, something along those lines. Uh, a whole just range of documents that are creating this story. And... I'm going to prove to you that uh, this document is in fact fraudulent. I think that by the time you are done watching this, you will there will be no question that, that this thing is, is a fake. Um, a lot of this stuff in the beginning, I am going to be sorting out which one is fake. Like I said before, it's not because I'm trying to disprove the subject in its entirety. I'm just trying to sort out what is not real first. It's very important that we get rid of what, what we know is, is crap. And I, again, I do want to thank Stanton Friedman for his efforts because he spent uh, countless amount, you know, amounts of time at the, at the National Archives, at the Truman Library, different presidential libraries, searching through uh, tons of documents. And so uh, most of the information that we have today is because of him. So uh, anyhow, without spending any more time we we do have to keep within our youtube time limits as always um, okay so you see this document it's uh... it would be july 9th 1947 like i said you can download it from the majestic documents dot com website uh... which they in fact um, provide an authenticity uh, authenticity rating and uh... i don't know uh, maybe if we go to uh, majesticdocuments.com <clears throat> go to uh, majestic documents documents dated prior to 1948 and uh, this one is scroll down find it here here it is directive to general twining by president truman and you can see the authenticity meter over here to the right uh, as you can see, every document that they have posted on here has an authenticity rating. Uh, so, anyhow, if I thought that this was fake, I, I wouldn't even post it on my website. But uh, anyhow, the um, uh, they're all available here. So let's let's get moving on. I still got a couple more minutes. Okay, so basically, the the subject isn't really anything that would. Um, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things that were considered top secret. A lot of memos and letters and stuff like that are secret. And this one, I mean, when I read read it now, I mean, it it doesn't. There's there's nothing mind blowing that it says, which makes me wonder why is it even there in the first place. So, um, what we have found is this on the right. This is the. Uh, what we were just looking at. Directive to Lieutenant General Twining, you will proceed to the White Sands uh, Green Ground Command Center without delay for the purpose of making blah 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 blah. Second paragraph goes on and making your, uh, you know, blah blah, it's just, it just, it, whatever, it, it has different breaks and all that. And then we have the approved Harry Truman with July 9th, 1947. So here's that document, which we just took a look at. It is a document as this one. It just doesn't... It, it's it's cropped so that you don't see the, the top secret eyes only and all this other stuff. Uh, this is also... You can see in Stanton Friedman's book, um, Flying Saucers in Science. Uh, and... Oh, wait, let's check our time here. Actually, we're going to stop and we're going to go to the second part and just... Uh, Stay hanging in there, go to the second part, and you'll see exactly what what we're going to find. So, be right back with you guys.